Welcome back to day three. My name is Mark Walters. I'm here with my friend Ted Thomas. Ted is the absolute authority when it comes to tax lien certificates, tax deed properties, and I have more questions here. So before we jump in, Ted, would you please do a quick recap for those people as to what a tax lien certificate is? Okay. All right, folks, you probably heard about tax lien certificates. So I've been an authority in this business for a long time. So I just do a capsulized version of it for you. A tax lien certificate is nothing more than a piece of paper. So this certificate is issued by a local county. And it's issued because someone didn't pay their property tax. So the county now has a problem. They still have to pay the police. They still have to pay the fire department. Still have to pay the school teachers. Still have to fix the roads. So what are they going to do for money? So the county said, well, the guy didn't pay his taxes. So they tell them, we're going to issue a tax certificate. So I can go and pay someone else to tax it. And all you guys can too. All right. So here in Florida, they have a million just in the 67 counties here. But half of the states and counties in the United States sell the certificates. You can do it online. Anyway, so you buy the certificate from the county. Now, what you did is you just paid someone's tax. So what the county does is they issue this certificate to you. And when they do that, that certificate now gives you a right in that property. You have a right now. You don't have a right to go there, but you have a right in that property. And your right is this. If those people don't pay you, you get the property. If they don't pay you, you get the property. Now, if they do pay you, I'll tell you, 97% or higher pay, they're going to come in and pay the tax. Then they have to pay in Florida, 18%, Arizona, 16%, Illinois, it's going to be 36%. It's different in each state. Maryland's one, they all have different states. All right? So the point is, you're either going to get paid or you're going to get the property. So if you're going to buy tax certificates, buy them in the country club. Buy the best one you can. Because if you don't get paid, you're going to get the property. So I have clients, they raise their hand, they buy the certificate, they give the money to the government, they know they're going to get it back from the government. Now, if they don't get it back from the government, they're going to get the property. So what they do is they buy the certificate and then they go home and pray. They go and pray that the people don't pay because they bought in the country club and they want a country club property for pennies. All right, so that's what a tax certificate is. They're available in 1,500 counties. The business has been around for 200 years. Wow. wow. That's solid. All right. Great recap, Ted. Uh, let's see. Do the counties automatically send you a check with the interest when a certificate is redeemed, or do we have to follow up with the county? Well, you know, the world changed the past couple of years. It used to be that you got this certificate, okay? In the old days, you got a certificate. So the county would call you and say, all right, they paid you. So now you had to send the certificate in, and then they sent you a check. Those days are gone. Nowadays, when you buy the certificate, you're going to buy it online. You're going to buy it online. And then they're going to send you a notice on your text. We just put the money in your bank account. It goes direct to your account. And so if you, what people do, they don't buy one. They buy dozens. People buy dozens of them. They buy, I mean, it's just a lot of certificates. Uh, I'm not, on a, on a, a, a $200,000 house, certificate's only 3000 3, bucks. You know, on a, on a, on a, a $500,000 house, it's only $10,000. And so they're going to they're going to tell you they can put it right on your text. You just open it. There it is. You just got to got to check. They tell you how much they put in your account. I have I have people that make eight percent on their certificate. Some people make sixteen. Some people make twenty. It, it just depends on what certificate you buy. Anybody can do it. Yeah. You get paid by the county. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. What about a review on tax defaulted properties, like you were sharing? Okay. Day? Now tax defaulted property is a whole different ballgame. So all the counties in the United States, there's 3,000 plus counties, all the counties in the United States have to charge taxes, okay? They're mandated by the legislature to charge property tax. If they can't collect the tax, the treasurer is going to put the property in default. And when they put a property in default, they're going to tell the property owner, get it paid in so many days or you lose your privilege of owning the property. They're going to take the property away. They're going to seize it, seize it is what I said, and they're going to confiscate it. They're going to push the people off the property. Now, why did the government do that? The local county government is going to do that because they need money. So now they're going to sell the property. Then they're not going to try and sell a four or a 600 or a million dollar property. They're going to sell that property for the back taxes. So if the taxes were 10% or 20% of the value, that's what the starting bid was going to. Now, I don't know what the last bid is because when they, all these properties are sold at public auction, so always a public auction. A lot of times it's online or it's offline. Either way, you can buy both ways. Now, 
those properties are sold for pennies on the dollar. I've, I have purchased $400,000 properties for 30 cents on the dollar. I could show you, I could show you a whole bunch of them. Okay. I bought properties for 10 cents on the dollar. I bought properties for 50 cents on the dollar. You can buy them for whatever you want to be the highest bidder. So I bought colonial houses in New York, if you know what those kind of houses are. I bought ranch houses. I bought a little two bedroom, one bath houses. They're just sold to the highest bidder at the auction. And when you buy it, there's no mortgage on the property and no trustee on the property. The loans are cleared. So you're buying clear property at the auction. How about that? I like it. I like it. For the taxes owed, then possibly some bidding up a little bit. Makes right. sense why it would be so low, pennies on the dollar. Okay. Um, so you don't actually have to worry about properties being bid. Some people say, I couldn't buy it like you did for 10 cents on the dollar, Jed. Folks, think about this. What if the house is worth a half a million dollars? Okay. Now, you might not be thinking you got this much money right now. But what if you could buy it for $100,000? Would you do that deal? You'd do that deal in a minute. Why? Because it's still worth 500000 Sell it for two hundred. Did you make enough? Of course you did. That's how investors think. You don't have to make every deal at 10 cents on the dollar. You might want to pay 30, 40, or 50 cents because you know you can mark it up, make your 25 or 50 grand. You're out of there. You're not in the business of accumulating real estate. You're accumulating money. So I teach people to accumulate money and we show you how to sell them fast because we know fixer uppers want them. We know the or those renovators want them. We know the flippers want them. We know the people that need payment plans, they need to get into properties. We know all that. You now know it, and that's what we teach you how to do. Is that some of the stuff you're going to be talking about on Saturday's event as well? We do that. We actually show them step by step how people bought. I'll have people there that buy as many as five and six houses a year, and they do this on a part-time basis. This is a part-time business, okay? It's full-time money, part-time business. You can... You always see the auctions are always scheduled. You don't have to work all week. If they say an auction next month, like right now in the month of November, Los Angeles is going to have another auction. Okay. Well, if you haven't been trained, you don't want to go to that auction because the property is going to get sold just that fast, that fast. But if we teach you how to do it, we'll show you which ones to buy and which ones not to buy. That's that's what you got to do. You got to get an education. So we're going to we're going to have people there that actually I will have people at that auction that have done this more than a hundred times at our class. I'll have people that have done more than 100, 100 deals, okay. more than 100. That, that's a lot of experience. So uh, for yeah. those of you, just look below this video. You'll see the link for that. All right. Um, let's see. Uh, what is the fastest state to get access to the property? The fastest is probably going to be Texas, because if you bought a redeemable deed today, you bought it. So let's say it was a $300,000 property and you paid... 10 cents on the dollar. All right, so you put $30,000 up. That property owner has 180 days to come forward and pay you back your 30,000 plus 25%. So that property owner had, so that 180 days. At the end of 180 days, you own the property. Six months. You get the deed in 180 days. So that's pretty fast, uh, but you could go to an auction like you could go to uh, an auction in, in uh, San Bernardino, California, just use an example. And when you finish the auction, you will have purchased a property. You just have to wait till the deed comes in the mail and you own it. So that could take could take two weeks. Sweet. Okay. Awesome. Let's see. What? Let's see. Uh, is an attorney or broker required to buy a tax defaulted property or a tax lien? Actually, so, yeah. um, this business was made. Um, Everything that I teach is 200 years old. So the business of tax default of property has been around for 200 years. I didn't start it. I just, I came from a distressed property business and I was buying foreclosures years and years ago, but more than 30 years ago. But when I discovered I could get property for 10 or 20 cents on the dollar, boy, I get, I get excited. But these, this business has been around for decades. So it's going to be around forever. And here's why. People are going to pass on. They're going to die. And they won't have a will. They won't have heirs. So that house is going to sit there and nobody's going to pay the tax on it. So do you want a whole bunch of properties sitting around the landscape with them? They're just going to deteriorate and look like hell and ruin everybody else's value. So the county figured out a long time ago, if they can't collect the tax on that property, they go and confiscate it. They take the property under their ownership and then they sell it at a tax defaulted auction because there was no tax paid on it. They now sell it at tax default. They have been doing this for 200 years they will continue to do it 
for our conceivable lives, so can, unless someone comes out in a new system. But this has been around 200 years. I don't think they're going to change it. And there's so many properties. You will find there'll be many auctions where they can't sell all the properties. Matter of fact, we have a whole course. We teach people how to buy the leftovers. Now, we don't have time to cover leftovers today, but that's another whole business that we're involved in and have been involved in for 30 years. The leftovers. Ooh, that sounds pretty good. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Hypothetical question here, Ted. If you had $50,000 to invest, would you buy many small tax lien certificates or just a couple of big ones? Um, I, I, I'm, if I'm going to buy tax lien certificates, I'm always going to spread my risk. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy uh, a, a handful of them. If I got 50,000, man, you're going to buy a lot. I mean, you, you could conceivably get 25, uh, but let's say you bought 10 or 15. Uh, and they're all going to pay off at different times. They're not all, because everybody doesn't pay the tax at the same time. So I would spread it out and do a lot of little ones because you're going to learn so much from it. It's it's pretty exciting. Uh, most of you that buy tax lien certificates will buy 10 or 15 certificates. They won't go buy just one. Now, when you're starting, you might buy one just to see how it works. But the, basically, people people buy bundles of them. They, they want to buy a lot of them. Matter of fact, a place like New York City, uh, you can't. you and I can't buy in New York City, because the city buys them all. They buy them in bulk. They want 200,000 of them at a time. They, they want, they want to, uh, because they use it as an investment for the city. So the, the, that's how they buy them. Interesting. A quick follow-up, Ted, because you said the word risk, uh, spread your risk. So that, that jumped out at me. What risk are you right. talking about? Right. So I'm always concerned about a political risk. I'm always concerned about uh, a recession risk. I'm always uh, concerned about uh, uh, a financial risk in that you make a mistake. Okay, so the mistakes that people make are glaring, but they won't tell us they made it until it's too late. So uh, there's going to be, if I held up a newspaper here, it won't, it won't show very well, but this, uh, this newspaper has 40,000 certificates in it. So I tell people, you would not, and all the ladies will agree with me, you would not marry the man without looking at him. You would look at them. Well, I'm going to tell you, you need to look at all the tax certificates because what if it was a ghetto property and then they didn't pay you? Now you got a ghetto property. That's a risk. Okay. It would be much better to go drive there and look at it. So I don't know what risk people take. Or what if a county went broke? You're still going to get paid, but you're not going to get it right away. So, so those are the risks. Now, does that happen very often? No. The risk people take is they get a little bit lazy and they don't go and look. So I tell people, don't buy anything unless you've looked at it. Same as don't marry the woman unless you looked at her. So, um, so I, I'm, I'm risk adverse and I teach people to be risk adverse, but this is a safe business. Tax certificates, you don't buy from me. You buy from the government. Now, the government's been around a long time. I think they're gonna be around a long time. All right, so you buy them from the government. So they're gonna tell you that when you buy that certificate, you're gonna get your money back. If you don't get your money back, you're gonna get the property. So the risk is go look at the property. Gotcha. That's what and if somebody that makes perfect sense, uh, that reassures me there uh, as to what we're talking about. And if somebody's doing this from their internet online from home, could they not look at Google Earth or something like that to zero in on taking a look as well and get a better idea of the property? Yeah, I, I well, that's easy probably because if you're going to buy on the internet, not to worry about that, what we're going to do is we're going to teach you things to do. We're going to teach you how to hire a broker that will go out and look at everything for you. We're going to teach you, if you don't want to do that, to hire an Uber driver and tell him about the other's camera, all right? I hire a, 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 a guy that's uh, doing fixer-upper. I, I hire a, a guy that does inspection. Have somebody look at that property. Now, I personally buy online, but I figure out what I'm going to buy. I can't do it now, but I figure out what I'm going to buy. And then after I do that, then I fly there. I look at all the ones I want to buy. Then I come back and I buy it online because I'm not going to take a risk. I want, I want to look at the property because every property that's a tax defaulted is going to be used and abused, okay? Right. Or unless you're buying residential land. I'm a big advocate, advocate of buy residential buildable land. Complete subdivision sometimes. We have clients buy the whole thing. The whole thing. Okay, yeah. good. Yeah, and it makes sense. You'd want to know what it looks like currently. Currently, right. that's, that's very yeah. important. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, what is the cheapest that you've seen someone get a tax defaulted property for? That's exciting. Well, I'm going to show you a couple of examples of this. Um, let me show you one on a on a, 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 a on a house in uh, 
a rural county just north of Tampa. This just happened within the past uh, 120 days. So the student said, look, I'm, I'm getting a lot of competition at this auction in Tampa. And so we said, look, go out of Tampa to go out a, a more rural county. Went to the rural county and there was an auction. So the auction started and but prior to buying, you went out and looked at the property. Turned out the property was a single family home, lots of trees, overgrown. People hadn't done anything to the house in a number of years. All right, turned out the property had a value of 91,000. I said 91,000 number I said, so remember that. All right, he bought the property for $9,100. Bought the property for $9,100. Tenant turned out to be a fixer upper guy. He ended up selling it to the tenant on a rent to own or a lease, lease to own the property. He sold it to it for 150,000. Now he put up 9,000. He sold it to the tenant and was willing to take payments from the tenant for $150,000. Well, my name is Nolby Madrid from Tampa, Florida. I'm originally from Honduras. And on November the 3rd, I got a property yeah. for $9,100. So this property is the property that I got at the auction for $9,100. So this property, when I was doing the research, um, all you could see was trees. I mean, if you go on Google Maps, you were able to see trees only. If you go on Silo, there was nothing but trees. So when I was doing my research and I went by all of these different addresses, I saw that there was actually a house. And I think um, that was the main reason why, you know, a lot of people just overlooked it. So I had comps gotten for this property. You know, I, do, I used a local county assessor. I also got a couple of realtors, the ones that I saw that were more, you know, current in the area. They were selling a lot more properties in the area. So as is, both of them were in between 100 and 110. So I ended up getting this property, put on an agreement for this, which is land contract, for $170,000. On that $170,000, I ended up getting $5,950 down. So I got that. I got it within 60 days. I didn't do no repairs to it. They got rid of all of the garbage. I gave them a discounted rent for the first year for $1,400 a month. And they are actually doing all the repairs, redoing the bathrooms and, you know, so making it nice and clean. They already replaced the, the hardwood flooring. They didn't like the laminate flooring that it has, so they replaced all of the hardwood floorings for me. So worst case scenario, they walk away. I still have the property. It's in a better condition, and I keep the money. Is that a shocker? Well, that's a big shocker. But you want to know the cheapest one I ever saw? I'm going to show you this one right now. Okay, now this guy came to me, and he started with me years ago, just watch this video, you're gonna be absolutely shocked. I'd have to say that the best uh, dollar for dollar deal I've ever done on a piece of land, it happened in Oklahoma. I went out to an outlying county and I bought a tax lien. The tax lien was on a 25 acre piece of land. The tax lien was only $67.12. Uh, you'd think that nobody would ever abandon a piece of land for that small of a tax bill, but things like that do happen. And guess what? Those people never did pay that tax. They never redeemed that tax lien. And I ended up getting the tax deed to that property. I eventually sold that piece of land for $22,500. It's not uncommon to make ten dollars or $20,000 off of a deal. Folks, there you have it. He bought a property for $67 and he sold it for $20,000. We, you and I, we can't go to Denny's and have dinner with our family for $67 you could be doing the same thing. Wow, wow. That's pretty amazing. Uh, all right, another question for you, Ted. Am I responsible for paying the utilities, the utilities like water, heating, electric bills, and so on for the tax deed home? When you buy a property at auction, it's yours. You own it. So if you have an electrical bill, you have to pay it. If you have a tax bill, you have to pay it. If you have someone cut the lawn, you're going to have to pay it. It's your property. You own the property. If you're buying tax lien certificates, you don't own anything. You just own a piece of paper to give you money. If you buy a tax deed, you have the deed to that property. You own that property, whether it's in Los Angeles, Seattle, Miami, Boston, New York, Sioux City, Iowa. Doesn't matter where you are. You own the property. I like it. Home ownership. Uh, exactly. Let's see. Uh, can I buy an auction with credit cards? Oh, you're going to love this. So um, I didn't believe you could buy with a credit card. So a couple of my people said to me, Ted, we're buying with credit cards. You got to start showing people. 
So I bought, you're not going to believe this, I bought a property in New York. Okay, it was a colonial house. I thought it was worth round numbers 400,000. Uh, it was used and abused. Five acres of land, big oak trees. All right. I went and I looked at it. I said, oh, I got to get this property. I just had to get there. Beautiful neighborhood. Everything was good. I came back home, got online for the online auction. I paid $150,000 on a credit card online and bought that property. I had every conceivable problem. The market actually was going down. I ended up selling it. I bought it for $150,000. I sold it for $280,000. I bought it online with a credit card. Wow. That's wild. Okay. Uh, Ted, skeptical investors will ask, and I'm guessing you've heard this one, what about the homes that are still in debt with the banks? How can a tax lien just buy that house unless the bank writes it off? And that seems very unlikely to happen. Okay. So we're going to finish this lesson right now. And but I'm going to tell you guys, when an auction takes place, what really took place was the homeowner did not pay their tax. So the government, the local government, is going to go and give them a default notice and tell them, look, if you don't pay it, you're going to lose your property. And if you don't pay property tax, you lose your privilege to own the property. Okay, that's the law in the republic. Every single county, every single state. So now the property owner didn't pay. So the county goes in and they take over the property. Before they ever took over the property, they notify anybody that has anything to do. That's called due process of law. Now, I'm not an attorney. I'm not trying to teach you legal stuff. I, I can't do that. All right. They're going to do process of laws. They tell everybody. They tell the banker. They tell anybody that has a judgment. They tell anybody that has a name on the title on that property. You've got to pay the tax or we're taking the property. So the banks know, have been given notice again and again. So you can go to the file on that property. You can go to the county, open up the file, and you'll see the registered letters. Five, six, seven registered bank, Shawmut Bank, Chemical Bank, Bank of this, Bank of that, you name it. Every one of them has been notified. So when you buy a property at a tax auction, the mortgage and deed of trust are gone. Sweet, sweet. Hey, if you want to learn how to buy these kind of properties that have no mortgages at deep discounts, like Ted is saying, from the comfort of your home, definitely hit the link below so that you can share the day with Ted at his event. Ted, tell us just a little bit about what they can experience there. With okay, so, so here's what's going to happen. Your timing is perfect. We're going to, on the 19th day of this month, we're going to do a, going to do a, a class. Now, we do one every single month, but if you can get come to this one, you'll love it. But here's what's going to happen. It starts on the West Coast. It starts at 8 o'clock in the morning, but it goes all the way to 2 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, so just pack a lunch, put it right there beside you, eat your crackers, do whatever. You can pet the dog. It's a virtual class, so you can sit on your Rusty Dusty, and while you're sitting on your Rusty Dusty, we're going to educate you. You'll see People that have done as many as 30 properties in the past three years. You've seen people that have done 100. They're going to tell you their experience so that you can learn step by step. We're going to teach you tax liens. We're going to teach you tax deeds. We're going to teach you how to buy them. We're going to teach you how to sell them. Everything that you need to know. We're going to do that for six solid hours. This is a content-rich event. I charge $47 for that. I'm not an internet marketer, so I'm not out giving stuff away free. I got plenty of clients that come from all over the world. All right, why do they do that? Because we're the authority, you can get on there at 8 o'clock, and I guarantee you, you will get your $47 worth. So just register below, and we're going to be back tomorrow with our last video. Yeah, thanks, Ted. I appreciate you so much. Definitely secure your spot below. Look for my email tomorrow for the next installment of this interview. It's going to be a power-packed one. Look for that email. Talk to you soon.